Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to enable file history in Windows 10. This is a built-in application within Windows 10 that will allow people to back up personal files. And basically what file history will do is it will take snapshots of your files and it will store them on an external hard drive. So very similar to a system restore like feature, it will allow you to restore previous versions of files on your computer. So this can be very easy to set up here. And we're going to start by heading over to our start button and we're going to left click on it. And then left click on settings. Left click on the update and security tile. Left click on the backup selection on the left panel here. So we see the first option here it says backup using file history. Backup your files to another drive and restore them if their originals are lost, damaged, or deleted. Left click on add a drive. Okay, so we can see that it's currently set to automatically back up our files. So if you want to set exactly what files that we want to be backed up to our flash drive, you want to left click on more options here, right underneath. And then we see we have a little bit of information and we see that our current size of our backup currently occupies zero bytes on our flash disk. We have this backup now button will sync all of our backed up folders or files immediately to our flash drive. However, if we actually want to check out and see what's going to be backed up, we can just scroll down here. We can see how frequently our files will be backed up, which is set to be every hour. You can change it anywhere between 10 minutes and daily. And you can also set how long you want your backups to be saved for. So you can either set it to be until space is needed and then it will be overwritten, or you can set it for forever. And then underneath backup these folders, this is what is important if you want to specifically set what you want Windows to back up to your flash disk. For most people, I would say they want to back up their documents. So that's already selected. Now if there's certain folders you do not want selected, all you would do is just click on the folder. So let's say we didn't want to save our downloads. We could just left click on that and then immediately left click on the remove button next to that. So we see that it removed that folder. We can also add additional folders by clicking on this little plus sign right next to add a folder. At this point we can navigate to any one folder on our computer, so let's just say music. And I've just added the music folder to our backed up folders. So again, click on backup now if you want to immediately schedule a backup. So pretty much you might be wondering how do you access or retrieve previously backed up files. And that'd be very simple. So let's say for example I created a new Word document on our desktop here. And you know, we'll just keep it saying a new Microsoft Word document. That is the name of our document here. You would just right click on the document and then left click on properties. Underneath previous versions on the top tab here, if we did run a backup, there would be different options down here. It would show you any recovered or backed up versions of that file. So it's very simple. This is very good on a file by file basis. And if you actually wanted to go back through and do a mass restore, that's also very doable. You would go back into the start menu, go underneath settings, back underneath update and security. And then if you go back to the backup selection on the left here, and then you go underneath more options. And if you scroll all the way down this list, you see that there is an option underneath related settings on how to restore files from a current backup. If you left click on that, you can follow the on-screen instructions on how to use file history to revert back to previous versions. So I hope uh, this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.